Good morning. My name is Jacqueline Barber. I'm a 20 year veteran of the Atlanta Police Department. I worked as an investigator there, undercover narcotics and fugitive and at the airport. I retired from the Atlanta Police Department in 9-11, 2001 from an on the job injury. I injured my back, my right knee and ankle and had to have surgery. I'm still having problems with my bank. In fact, I'm having a procedure done today on the back from that same injury. In 09, that's when I was diagnosed with the multiple myeloma cancer. I went through radiation and chemotherapy. And all this time, while I was going through this, I was trying to get this loan modified. I had gone down to all of the, uh, all of the con conventions and the, um, that NACA gave and all the banks. In fact, I couldn't even walk. Um, I was in a wheelchair. I went down in the wheelchair and in those long lines to try to get my home modified, my, my mortgage modified. This has been going on for over two years. Um, so it's, it's just like they've just been jerking me around from here to there, you know, and that's why uh, right now, you know, I was in remission for two years, almost two years, and now I'm coming out because of the stress. And um, I just can't, can't let them keep doing it. U.S. Bank has not talked to me at all. Wells Fargo had the mortgage. Mm -hmm. Wells Fargo sold the uh, property to U.S. Bank for $150. I was faxing information into them as they were purchasing the home on the foot out steps. When I met, uh, did the mediation with the attorneys from U.S. Bank, mm -hmm. U.S. Bank said that they did not want to negotiate anything. They were not going to work out anything. They won't let my family members buy the house back. They said no family members nor myself. When you are reaching out physically and physically, you need some support. Food and shelves are so important. And with her physical condition, I think that um, it is more than what we can do to show our support for her. We do have a couple of other uh, PD members here, and uh, we're just here to give her support and uh, hope that thing will be very positive in her favor. So what I'm here today is to let other people know that I know you're in similar situations like I'm in and I don't want you to let the banks let you roll over and play dead. You got to fight for what you have. And I'm not going to roll over that U.S. Bank let me play dead because I'm a fighter. I fought cancer and I'm going to fight U.S. Bank.